<clears throat> Hello, everybody. So let's do another reading on Trump when it comes to Syria and Russia. Um, from the very beginning, I thought that this is just a bluff, that he's not going to go against his uh, master, Vladimir Putin. They're just putting on a show. You know, they're taking us all for idiots. So, and um, my suspicion was, uh, uh, it's not even suspicion, my, I, I'm convinced of this. <laughs> uh, so it got confirmed. Uh, so there's this guy uh, in Lebanon. It's a ma manager of a TV station. And he says that according to his sources, U.S. has demanded complete withdrawal of Iranian troops and militias from Syria in order to avoid U.S. strike on Assad. And he says that the Russians have informed the Iranians of this. Um, so it's like just like the last time, because the last time when Trump uh, bombed Assad, it just they warned Russians. They withdrew from that and they bombed some fucking empty hangars somewhere. So it's all for show. It's all just take us for idiots to, you know. Um, maybe it's even to distract from whatever is going on in U.S. But I don't know. Uh, but it's like they're not. They're in cahoots, guys. They're. Uh, they're not gonna go against each other. They're, they're just gonna put on a show for the rest of us, for the the people. They're taking us for fools. And uh, again, um, now Russian TV is chattering about World War Three. Uh, so while Russia said searching for de-escalation with U.S., the main Russian media is pumping apocalyptic visions. An anchor on RTR channel told the audience to prepare for World War Three, and in it in Internet videos are sharing how the U.S. Army is preparing for landing in Syria to hurt Russia. <laughs> so, um, this World War III is about to happen. It's actually a Putin line. And in fact, it's part of the Russian regime strategy for years. Um, and Putin's, I'm quoting now someone, Putin's Russia has to resort to brinkmanship precisely because it is so weak. The USSR, the former um, Russian Federation, you know, had the GDP half of that of the United States. But right now, Putin's Russia has uh, had uh, it's really small. <clears throat> it's really so economically, they're doing really bad. Uh, and his only leverage is gas and nukes. So, and at least. According now, at least the U USSR had a trans the the former Russian had a transnational ideology and a few half decent allies. Putin's regime has neither. And also remember that Hillary would start the World War Three was also a narr narrative narrative <laughs> that the Russian media conspiracy sites and also Trump campaign used during the U.S. elections. So yeah. These people are taking us all for idiots and they're just putting on a show and they're just doing whatever the hell they want to do. Okay, so let's do a reading now. Um, let's see first from Putin's perspective what's going on with him. What's going on with Putin? What's going on with Putin now? Let him report you. He's back. They have support. They're in cahoots with. Um, they're on this together. This four of wands, co-creation, stability, solidity, the happy home. Putin and <laughs> Trump, or you know the alliance that they have there with Iran and everything. And at the center is money. 
is uh, growing uh, uh, their money and power. This is like security, money, wealth, power. The Queen of Pentacles. Yes. They have an alliance there. Things are moving. And now Trump will have to make a decision, I think. Maybe this is Trump. He'll have to make a decision. But they're... Um, they're pumping up this like it's happening it's uh, you know th this is fast energy and this is slow energy but when actually he is uh, he has a long term plan he's accelerating now he is but on a surface to make like uh, chaos but actually he has a long term plan and is taking it slow for his financial security for his to to secure himself to have a solid foundation and he has support, he has allies and I think maybe Trump is having to make some sort of a decision at this point let's see from Trump's perspective what's going on with him when it comes to Russia and Syria, what's going on there What did I say? Trump and Russia, Trump and Putin. Co creation, stability, solidity, they're supporting each other. This is, he took the offer from Russia, from Putin. This is Putin offering his, uh, you know, um, uh, this is, I think this is Mueller. He has support from Putin. He took Putin's help. They're probably doing this to distract from the investigation because this Mueller on the outside, he's, so this is from Trump's perspective. Mueller is coming. <laughs> so he has an alliance, an agreement with Putin. He, like, from this is clearly he has an arrangement with Putin. And he's afraid. He's afraid of Mueller. He's shitting his pants. This is Mueller. This Mueller is in the Leo sign. And when I see this card, I see him, the lion, uh, coming for him. And this is the fear, the moon. Sometimes this card is, you can interpret this as fear, a lot of fear energy. Nightmares, <laughs> secret enemies, hidden things, um, delusions, something like this, insanity even, like lunacy. So yeah, so from this I see clearly that he's, he's afraid of Mueller. He's, uh, he's, and this uh, that's why he, he might have an agreement with Putin. This is Putin. I see him, you know, putting the bare chest as riding all sorts of creatures, <laughs> poor creatures. And... Uh, Offering his snaky cup, see the snake in the cup, and he took the deal. The I see the lovers. This is the lovers card, and sometimes it means like agreement, union, pact. And this is them. It appeared in Putin's spread also. Stability. They're in cahoots. So, as we said, and as I think we've all thought, they're in. This together, they're in cahoots. They're not. He's not gonna. This is for the for the for the show, for the facade. To uh, also, I think, to distract things, people from uh, <laughs> the actual matter, from what actually matters, from what you know should be the focus. Investigation. And also, Yeah, so mm, this is, he's not going to go against Putin. No way. No way. Um, okay, one next. Uh, some of you guys asked, send me a link with this lady, psychic lady, who, who you said something like she sees uh, that Assad is going to die, he's going to be assassinated somehow. 
I don't know about that. Let's, yeah, I don't think so. Is Assad is not gonna die unless someone decides he's gonna die, unless someone like big kahuna like Putin or like someone like this. <clears throat> They're keeping him alive. They're keeping him there. Without them, he's dead. Um, let's see. Okay, let's see. Will Assad kick the bucket <laughs> anytime soon? Will he be assassinated? Will he be whatever? Let's see what the cards have to say. <clears throat> oh, Assad, Bashar, Assad, oh. Jahash. Jahash means donkey in Syrian. And so sometimes Syrians, when they want to offend someone, they call them donkey. Jahash, Assad. <laughs> I'm actually offending the poor donkeys. They're cute and lovable. Assad is a like I think I feel like I'm even offending psychopaths if I'm gonna associate. <laughs> like they're worse than anything. I think that Satan, the devil, is envious of the level of evil of these people. Anyways, uh let's see. Will he kick the bucket? I don't think so. <laughs> No, I don't think so. I, I don't see any card. I mean, yeah, you never know. Um, maybe, I don't know, maybe he'll choke on something. He'll die <laughs> choking on something. I don't know. Uh, <clears throat> from this card, I, I don't see death for him. Uh, whatever. So this reading was for uh, Putin and Trump. And there looks like this the diversion, this whatever's going on with Syria, they're using it as a you know for sh for show. It's all for show, for show of facade. They're all in it together. They're gonna just play war and scare people. And as I said, like Putin is pumping up the apocalyptic visions on mass media. Uh, they're pumping this shit up. There is it's probably helping wants to help. Trump by uh, diverting the attention from uh, actually from Mueller and from all that stuff and uh, it's despicable it's despicable to what's happening to Syrians and how they're it's just uh, it, unimaginable and this is gonna be <clears throat> it's gonna haunt humanity it's gonna haunt us because we should be ashamed for what is happening, for allowing this to happen. This genocide, and this is the most documented conflict the, the, of this century. It is the most, like, it's n not the century, in the history of the world. There's never been a war that has been documented like this, filmed, practically fucking live streamed. Uh, so it will haunt us and I don't know. I hope that we at least collectively learn something from this. I don't know. Um, and be better somehow. Learn to be better. Anyway, so uh, yeah, this was the reading for Trump and Vladimir Putin. They're putting on a show. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.